uh, go down to Jacksonville on Wednesday, which was a great trip. We were down recruiting in Florida during the day and then went up to Jacksonville in the evening and had a chance to uh, meet uh, many of the individuals involved with the, the Gator Bowl. I was really uh, very impressed um, with just their the way they handled it. It's such a, you can tell it's a lot of pride in, in the city of Jacksonville and for this bowl game and so much work goes into it. It's just a really first class setup. Uh, I was really impressed with the people. Enjoyed that experience there at press conferences and different activities. So, uh, really looking forward to uh, the opportunity to be in that venue, uh, at the stadium, and uh, really uh, excited about the number of tickets that's been pre sold already and expecting a big old crowd. So, really exciting for our team. I was talking to them even this morning as we had our practice and team meeting just about the, the opportunity this creates for our program and just really congratulate the seniors and, and uh, their leadership in, in leading this, this season. Allowing us to be rewarded with an opportunity to go and play in a bowl game of this of this stature in this location, and, and also the, the, the fact that they'll be playing um, as a prime time game with uh, the whole country watching is the really really important part of uh, being able to, to show what we're building here in Indiana and uh, how we play, and that's really uh, something that I'm looking forward to having that opportunity to do with our team. So we started our first practice today, and uh, thought we got a lot of good work in. We'll have a couple more. Here in the next two days, and then uh, give them a couple days off for finals. We're going to come back and get three more days, and, and really starting to get into to Tennessee prep at that point, and then we'll give them a day off after those three days, and then come back for our final three. Um, we'll go Christmas Eve morning, we'll do our final practice on campus, and, and we'll give our, our players a chance to go home for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and a couple days afterwards, and we'll meet in uh, Jacksonville. And you guys will come here with us, and we'll travel together. Those that are uh, further away, we'll just go ahead and report down to the bowl side. So. Very, that's kind of our schedule for the next uh, couple of weeks. And, and uh, looking forward to it. I think the guys are very excited about this opportunity and uh, want to see our team take full advantage of Questions? Tom, right, uh, obviously, your first time coaching into a bowl. So, or as an assistant, were there any coaches that you learned from in terms of how to structure this? Or are there coaches that you call and say, I, I Well, I would say, you know, the, the thing for me, you know, being in, in a couple of different bowls uh, recently. And the most recent one for me is, is uh, I mean, my, my first game was a bowl game, you know, when we went out to California. So that was a, that was an absolute whirlwind, you know, a lot of, a lot of things being thrown at you really, really fast. So, um, but just talked to some teams that have been in this exact bowl, you know, looked at their schedule and got some ideas from that. But you, know, you also kind of learn about that the biggest thing is this, a bowl that's this late is how do you manage the time, you know. And, and so for these last two weeks have been huge for us to be able to you know, kind of learn from some things the way I liked it done in the past with guys I've worked with. And, in other places and things maybe I didn't like as well, you know. But to me, the biggest thing is making sure that your players stay sharp, you know, physically, from a conditioning perspective. Um, so we did a lot of our guys the last two weeks and didn't really do a lot of football necessarily things, but uh, only a couple of days of that. But with our strength staff, we had five individual workouts with those guys and just allowed them to be able to stay on top of the game physically as well as get the chance to kind of get mentally and physically refreshed from all the normal demands of, uh, of the season, of watching the film and having practice every, you know, most days. And so I feel like it's been a nice break for them. That so yeah, you kind of, you, you learn and you talk to other coaches, and you, especially ones that have been in this exact bowl or a bowl later, like in, in, in early January. So it's been good to be able to resource those guys. Thanks, Matt. You've had a little bit of time to look at Tennessee film now. What, you know, what about them that stands out in watching some of that? Well, I've only watched a little. You know, we were up till uh, wee hours of the morning last night. Got in very late uh, from out west recruiting. We've been really recruiting really, really hard. So, but at the same time, you know, very athletic is what I see. You know, offensive line I think is very talented. Uh, they're they're a young team, but a very talented team. The receiver core is the strength of their offense in terms of just raw talent. Um, very very impressed with them. And then uh, they good good solid running backs. And they got numerous running backs that they're able to be. Effective and then a D line, I think, is very aggressive and physical and athletic, and, and they've got some good size at backer, and they all run well. So, I mean, it's a typical SEC team, you know, very uh, impressive physically, uh, a lot of athleticism. Uh, the thing about them, you kind of look at, they, they're really playing their best football. They really won the last five games, uh, have kind of stopped turning the ball over, which we all know how big, how big that is, you know, and once they started doing that, it really allowed them to be successful. And so, Coach Pruitt's done a really good job with this team, and I know they ended the season with a lot of high expectations. and. Maybe had a couple early on that they didn't uh, go the way they wanted to, but they learned from those and, and they're playing really well right now. So it's a really good football team we're about to play. 
Yeah. Coach, how much uh, do you have to try to balance the physicality of practices in regards to uh, it's obviously you know six seven weeks between. You know, you, how much hitting do you want to try to do when you can? Well, I, I would say you know at this point, I mean the goal, the first three practices are to design them to, to have a lot of technique and fundamental work, kind of approach in the way we approach a bye week, uh, in both structure and in both physicality. So more physical with our younger guys, um, and really trying to get them a lot of good reps, add some extra periods today for uh, for our uh, freshmen and sophomores to be able to don't get a lot of the reps with the ones and twos allow them to, to be able to go. Not, not a lot of full live goes, but we call it thud tempo. So still physical in last scrimmage, thud them up in the box and they have a good technique on the perimeter. So a lot of tackling drills for our guys, um, a lot of good physical blocking um, from a drill work perspective. So yeah, you're trying to be physical, but you're right, it's a long process you go through and then that's where like you don't like to start too soon on your opponent, it gets a little stale if you do. So uh, we're going to be focusing at this point trying to just get better, you know, just get better as a football team things that we know we have to get better at, you know, from a fundamental technique perspective moving forward. Captain Lizette. Uh, do you have a practice site set in Jacksonville yet, or is that to be determined? It'll be, we, we think we know pretty soon here, probably. Mm -hmm. I think there's a local high school that we're going to be at that uh, um, has a nice, a really nice surface. Our, our guys went down and checked a couple of them out while we were there. I did not physically go myself, but uh, it'll be a, trying to get a nice surface. You know, I looked at the, uh, I walked through the, the Jaguars field. It's a really good shape. We'll have only one more game, which is against the Colts. Um, between now and, and when we play. So, you know, barring a rain game, it should be in really good shape. You know, so we're trying to get, um, we, we usually play on field turf up here. Most of our games are on turf. So be able to get on natural grass. You know, we did play a couple games this year on that. So we'd like to be able to get on that as much as we can. Zach and Caleb. At one level, do you almost look with the younger guys at, at these practices, it's almost like a spring yeah. for them in a, in, in a certain way where you're, do you communicate to that to them in terms of saying, listen, we're really, Going to be running the rule over how much you've progressed, and this is your opportunity to really turn the page. You don't want them overlooking the ball, but really turn yeah. the page where the opportunity is great. Well, there, there's no question. And that's, even today, we talked to our team and the team meeting about you know, kind of goals here for what we're trying to accomplish it early on. Um, and, and basically, you know, want these young guys to get lots of reps. You know, we do the walkthroughs today. We're, we're geared around our young guys. All, all the guys involved in the walkthroughs were our, our younger players, so they can learn the system on both sides of the football. So. Um, I just think you have to do that. That's one of the big benefits of being in the bowl game is those extra practices. Uh, older guys will benefit as well, but uh, you know, we're a very young football team. So um, we've got a lot of young guys that are in the ones and twos, but then we're really young. We start getting to the, the guys that go with the threes and fours. So, yes, we want to get a lot of work in, get those guys a ton of reps, and uh, treat it as like you we basically have two spring balls now, which is, which is a double benefit. Caleb and Stefan. You talked about it not being trying to not be stale with your preparations. That just sprinkling in Tennessee's work or trying to hold off to the back end of yeah, uh, we will hold off. We won't. We're not going to do any Tennessee work here early on. And uh, like I said, it's just even our special teams. It's all special teams drills. We do some things, uh, full group of punt, but we didn't do anything else. It's all drill work, and that's kind of the focus, you know. And all the all the team sessions and Skelly are all offense versus defense. We're not going against scout teams right now. So at this point, it's, we're not really doing anything specific to. To Tennessee. Yeah. Stefan and then Taylor. Saw you uh, stop by the intramural fields before this. I had thoughts on some of uh, the game you saw up there. <laughs> I did. I tell you, that was fun. I, I, I just appreciate you know, all of those guys and girls that were out there cheering them on, and they were pretty rambunctious, that's for sure. So we had a little, we had a good time together. But uh, I mean, those are our, those are our student body, you know. And I just want to support them. They support us. They come watch us play and cheer us on. So uh, I wanted to cut. There's some good plays being made out there. Got a couple guys might need to make some offers too. <laughs> Taylor and then Cam. Coach, uh, I know you can't talk about 2020 guys specifically, but I know there are a couple or a few that will be um, available to be practicing in bowl preparation stuff. But is that more position wise that, that you work with them, or is it just kind of showing them what practice is going to be like in Indiana? Yeah, it's, it's hard to get too much. I know there's a lot of variables that have to go, that have to be in place in order for those. If they're in your mid you're talking about the mid year enrollees that would come. Yeah, and so. We've had a couple in the past that have been able to do that. You basically have to have it to where you know, you're completely finished at your school and graduated and everything's you know, cleared there and then you're enrolled here. And so, and, any, and we can't do it offsite, but all the bowl practices we have on campus, those guys can be a part of. And in the past, it's usually, you don't even really probably give them full pads. It's just more just being around, get the flow, start learning the terminology, and just get familiar with what we do. So we'll, we'll try and get, get a couple of those if we can, but uh, it's not really a huge priority. Camden Peaks. Part thing. First, you mentioned during the press conference with Fred a week ago that you want to get the guys off time for Christmas. You said that's really important. Um, I guess first off, why do you think that? And two, as a coach.
which when you're kind of letting your guys go for that period of time when you're not you know, directly in control of their actions, how do you try and balance and make sure that they're doing the right things in terms of still watching film and still you know, taking care of their bodies and sure that? Well, I think first of all, the reason why I think it's important is because if you, if you look at our schedule, you look at the calendar and how long these guys have been going, you know, it, it can get very, very you know, difficult mentally and physically. And so um, I think just the chance to be home for Christmas is, is a big deal. Our guys were they were pretty fired up that they got the chance to, to go home. So I just think it's important. You know, family's important to me, and I want our guys to be with theirs for Christmas. And so we, we set the schedule up. We play late enough, and we got plenty of time to get our work in. And that's what the, the, my whole philosophy is. When you when we're here, we got our work in. We got to be locked in. Let's be effective at that and maximize our time. But when we're away, let's make sure we get refreshed. And so, uh, but yeah, you mentioned about being concerned. Anytime they're not with me, you know, spring break is my. It's hard to enjoy spring break, you know, for me because I'm always concerned about what what might happen. So, same thing here. The guys go home, but you know, I I, I love our team and uh, I, I I trust our guys. Um, but we can talk about it, you know, even just to travel. You know, talk about not texting when you're driving when you're going home. You know, just being careful, wearing your seatbelts and and all the things that you try to do as a as a parent would do. You know, it's no different. But when they're home, they represent us, everything that they do, and and uh, we got a great opportunity ahead of us. So I mean, they got to continue to eat right, get proper sleep, take care of their bodies when they're away for a few days so that we're going to give them off to meet before we come back to the, to the bowl site. So, I mean, it's being a pro. We talk about it all the time, and that's a lot of things involved in that phrase, but, but these guys are a pretty driven group. They're very focused. They've set out their goals for this year, and this is one of them that's a good win on bowl game. So I, I can see it. I can tell by looking in our eyes today. It's a, it's a very focused group. Pete, has there been any real early impact from some of the kids that you're recruiting from this? And and do you plan to go to the Colts game and get a feel for the atmosphere? You know, we actually are going to go to the Colts game, and that, that'll be a neat experience for us. And, and uh, to support those guys, we got a chance to meet several of their, their coaches and you know, come with players, uh, different coaches have coached those guys over the years, different places. And, and uh, we've got you know, Chris Ballard, a lot of respect for him and the job he does there and the kind of the man that he is. So I want to support those guys, yes. And uh, I just think that, uh, you know, there's no question it helps in recruiting. You know, a lot of our guys were, were pretty uh, pretty locked in. You know, like we, we recruit them over the summer. A lot of those guys came for spring visits, and that was when their officials were for during the springtime. And a few more came this past weekend. We got a very few a small number this weekend, but uh, um, there's no doubt. I've been out the last two weeks, and just the momentum from the, the, the bucket win and the season and, the, and all that we've been able to accomplish this year is, is huge. And, and really, to, you got guys you were trying to really reel in at the end, you know, and try to convince them to come here, and, and you got a really strong, you know, um, Set of evidence of what we're doing, you know, and instead of instead of saying this is what we're wanting to do or hoping to do in the future, this is what we just did, and it's a powerful thing that they see it, you know, and, and the chance about talking about going and playing in the Gator Bowl and, and being in a January Bowl and being in Florida and, and just uh, you know that, what that does for us in recruiting. So yeah, those are all things that are um, we're trying to take full advantage of all that and, and the, the families that you talk to. I mean, it's pretty uh, it's fun to sit in homes and go to schools and talk about what we're doing because they see it and they watch this and, and uh, it's been very, very positive to see. Pete, that's one. Tom, the ability and maybe the temptation to maybe get innovative offensively and defensively doing things maybe you haven't done, is that a temptation? And, and if so, is it almost a fun thing? Like, let's come up with interesting things to do offensively. Well, time creates that, you know, and sometimes you got to be careful, you know, uh, but I think that that's, uh, um, you, you need to do a little bit of that. You know, I think it also helps with your guys, you know, for them to be able to do some some new things, but at, all, at the same time, we're we're such a young team overall that uh, we, we still um, I want I want us to be very very simple in regards to the fact that we're going to play really fast and be, play very physical, play a lot of confidence, and, and it's still you know it's looking back at our last game, we still made too many mistakes on defense and you know, too many big plays. So, um, but yeah, you kind of when coaches get to get some more time on their hands to to be innovative and creative, sometimes we. Uh, do too much of that, you know, so it's, it's, it's about being fundamentally sound and playing well. But yeah, you, you need some rankings. You don't want them to be able to sit on this stuff for the last several weeks and feel like they have a good feel for it. You'd like to be able to give them something they haven't seen. All right, thanks.